Wicker, Wicker Gang. Gang. We're back, back with another YouTube video. video. And right now we look like we look so a bad. hot mess. Like we look so bad. I got like a half up, half down. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing a braided ponytail, which um I had a braided ponytail in like a day ago. We'll insert the pictures. Ago. We'll insert pictures. But you guys were asking me on my Instagram, which our Instagrams will also be in the description box, so like right here. On how to do it, we did have some more um braiding hair left, so we're just gonna try it out. We so how this hairstyle came about is right. we was gonna get our hair done, but we was like, why spend all that money when we can just try to do it ourselves? We bought this, we bought all the hair. We and bought stuff, all the hair, and then so somebody had a little hair. attitude. And Yanni, she, I was trying she to part. I was to trying to do, do her she, hair. She's so aggressive. You're not I, be you not gonna be joking. You're not gonna be joking around. Look, look, look. I was trying to do her no. hair. She said, "Stop from the back." So no. I'm parting it. She's like, "Why are you parting it so much? It's no. in the back." Like, so then I'm like, "Put your head down," because she talks. She's like, "Put your head down." And you not gonna be doing all that. Like, I'm doing it. If she wasn't mad, I, I guess went, I would be good. I went in the bathroom and I did a braided ponytail. I looked up my YouTube. I said, "We got all this hair. I need to figure out something." I did the braided ponytail, and you know she's a bandwagon. I can never so be no bandwagon. But you did it after me though, so you have to be a bandwagon. No, that's a bandwagon move. No. The braided hair we got. You can get any kind or any color. Yeah. We got black because we was gonna get um, knotless braids, yeah. but. But the it's a size it's the color is four, which yeah. is not too so black. So it's not so. pitch black, but because our hair is not black, but yeah. so then we have all of our regular products. Y'all know the eco gel again. Right. Tell them to sponsor us because we just use it so much. And, right. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. we're trying a new. We tried this new um this one water here style factor gel. Um, we use their brands, but we never use this one. Stuff to wrap our edges when we finish. You know, combs, brushes, edge brush, and then a little bow tie. To and so our hair don't be dry because look at a little dry right now. We have the um, Jamaican mango and lime black castor oil in the coconut one. Really good for hair growth, so y'all should get that. And then we just have this hair polisher. Just yeah, I don't polish use it. that. Y'all need to use that brush. She brings that everywhere she goes. Okay. <laughs> because my hair not gonna be looking dry. And then we have a uh, edge brush. Okay. Okay. So. so right now we just getting the um. So I think because I've been doing the low braided points, I think I'm gonna do a. It a little bit higher, but it's also a tutorial. We're gonna be showing y'all how we're doing it. I'm trying to figure out which one I should do. Oh, I did the two. I'm sorry, yeah. Should I do the two or should I do the one? But I already did the one, but it was lower this time, so I may do it a little bit higher. First thing you need to do is you need to put it up in a ponytail, like a real slick ponytail, and that's what we're gonna do. Ooh, ooh, it's even like real chunky. Ugh, yuck. Don't do this because it's like you pull out your hair, but I can't get the band off. So now I'm going to put some of this oil in there. Um, since it has a little this kind of tip to it, I'll be putting it in the, like, in my sleeves up. Yo, we just like the oil out here, so we just take it like this, divide it, put on the parts. Put on the parts. Put it all in there. I'll be in the parts. She always got some slippery thing. Like, I'm talking to y'all, <laughs> not you. She's not talking to, talking to you. Little I'm little talking little. to you. I'm and then I put it in my edges. Like, when I wash my hair, I put it in my edges. Yeah. Just, we have the other ones too, but this um the it tip of it is easier to come out because the other one's like you gotta pour in your hands, it's messy. I find this like if this make my hair like I don't know, even kind of changing the texture to it. Like, I don't know. She's so delusional. Mind, Mind your business. business. Mind your it business. kills me. It goes over and beyond when it kills me, you know. And we got ball spots in the middle of our hair, so we need to <laughs> we put a lot of We've right always there. had it like like, just, I just be feeling so, like, taken back because when we get our hair done, they be like, you know, you got a boss, but every time we get our hair done, you know you got a boss, but yes, I, know I know I have, I have a boss, boss spot. Just, my hair, just you aren't supposed to be looking at the boss spot. You're supposed hair. to be doing my hair. Like, anyways. Okay, so I'm going to put it in a kind of hump on the tail. Um, I don't know. I don't want it to be no hump in it. That's why I'm kind of hesitant on if I want to do a super hump on the tail or just kind of like a low. But I'm going to do, like, in the middle. It's better to wash your hair before you do this, but. Yeah, it's true. But I mean, you don't. Know. I have to. Am I talking to them or am I talking to you for the second time? I'm not talking to you. Girl, you're not talking to I'm not me. talking to her at all. I'm not I'm not sure why she's talking Okay, anyways, you just gotta keep like putting it up. Just just the first step is to get the ponytail you want. Whether it's the low ponytail, the high ponytail, if you want a middle part, if you don't want a middle part. I did a middle part in my um other one, so I'm not gonna do no part and I wanna see how how it turned out. I'm just brushing my hair out right now. Cause the the um roots of my hair be really curly, like real curly. I must Yanni hair be nappy, but I'm not gonna take too much of this thing. <laughs> I don't I'm, I'm not. not. I'm I don't care what you gotta take. Okay, let me just brush my hair. Let me brush my hair. I'm gonna brush my hair. I'm gonna brush my hair. This wide tooth comb. Not gonna 
So you just brush it down. Basically, like I said, just get your ponytail first. So I think this is good. I look like Shaka Khan right now, so. It's straight. That's why I keep brushing it up. Do I want to do a hot ponytail? If I do a hot ponytail, ponytail will come down like this. And like, but then my head gonna be looking real long. Okay. But my hair was looking long before, okay. Hot ponytail it is. You wanna keep putting the gel, or whatever gel you use. You don't have to use the gel that we use. Just make sure it's a gel that works for you. And like really slicks it up. Right now I'm just going around putting water on it so I can um, curl it up. Then you're gonna take your, um, your edge control or whatever you're gonna use. And this is really just gonna help it. Help it like lay flat. I'm putting this in the back the most because that's where it be like the most. What do they call those flyways? We've been using a lot of eco. eco. We've been using them for so long. Mm -hmm. And the crazy thing is, I don't know if it changed our hair texture or right. not because we used to be able to use it and it just like stick. Like we didn't have to use no other gel. We just y'all. Let me tell you gel. tell you about our hair. Our hair used to be when we was like in when we first started dancing, which was in like 2017 before we actually blew up. I used to be that our hair curl pattern used to be so tight, like really tight. But then we started getting our hair done, got heat damage, so that loosened it up. So now we had this part. right. So basically, your ponytail basically done. Just keep brushing it up. Cause like you don't want I no humps. That's the thing. You want it to be as slick as possible. And I think I'm gonna do my edges first because we got these little wrap things. I'm gonna go ahead and take my edges out and do those before I see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush and just brush them out. Like I said, I didn't put no part in it this time because I feel like it'll look better without the you. Part. You know what you should have did? You should have did a swoop. Y'all need to be looking so good with swoops. No, I don't. Yes, sure you do. You be making my forehead break out because of the gel and stuff. So that's why I don't really be doing it like that. You know, you know when people like they part their hair right here and then they part another part and they be doing this part right here. Yeah. Like, that is so hard to me. I don't like, know. We just can't do we that. We just can't do that. Like, we just not work. We just not one of them. We can't do that. Right. We're not those girls in that area. But in every other area. We them girls. We them girls. For sure. Okay. okay. So basically I'm gonna do my edges right now. Just so take like these bands. Y'all need to my bands, so I have to use these. Here. Oh, cause you be doing the rubber band method, right? See, no. That's the one. <laughs> See, I don't know what she's talking about. So with me, because I don't know how to braid regularly, I don't know how to do start a braid off. So I be doing the I was starting my braid, braid off. You was doing it? Yeah. I'll add hair into my everything. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add hair. So they're gonna teach me how to add hair. So basically, at this point, let me just give y'all a rundown of what we done did. Take your water, take however you get your hair to slick it, and do that. Do your high ponytail or your low ponytail. Whatever it is, just make sure it's real slick and real tight. Like I said, it's bigger to use the thicker bands, like the one I just gave to Soleil, the thicker bands, because the bands like this, it's, you gonna have humps because it's not gonna you know, tight go together. Now I'm about to do my edges. You can do your edges afterwards, after everything done or um, before. Y'all y'all don't know doing our hair, because our hair is kind of thick. It used to be thicker, but mm -hmm, it's like an arm workout. Right. And we used to have waves because we used to wear stocking caps, like wig caps. Y'all wearing them for wigs. We used to wear them as bonnets. Yes. Like we didn't start wearing bonnets till we was like in seventh grade. Right. We was wearing stocking caps. We didn't start caps. wearing bonnets until I think somebody sent us our first bonnet. Yeah. Like we was using wig caps and I really feel like that's, that's better. Good. That's good. It kept the ends healthy because even if you wear a bonnet, if it's not a silk bonnet, you just, oh, my hair just like this with the ends out. You just put a bonnet on. That's okay because the bonnet is silk, but it's still going to like, kind of mess up your hair. So I'm just doing my edges right now. Just making sure everything. Ooh. I'm going to do my edges. I like to do my edges with eco gel. Okay, so we're going to take. <laughs> she, she hates this. Look at my I'm using eco gel because I don't know how to work with that hard stuff. Okay. Just so it'll be a part, you just need like a little bit. And you just, it makes it real, real shiny and stuff. Just make sure it's real, real put up. Okay. Now I'm going to take this, which I hate, the, I kind of hate these things because they be like sliding off. You know what I mean? As tight as you possibly can so your head just don't move. After you take it off, these things never really like get it real good. So after you take it off, you're going to have to 
basically redo your edges, but it do help a little bit. My edge is not looking like, because you that's too wet. That's why I don't use eco gel. It's too wet. Once your hair get too wet, they just be flying everywhere. That's why I use the eco gel. She mad? Right now it's falling apart. This water is this wet. is this edge good in the front? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what you do? Not on the hair. You gotta wet it. I'm gonna take this brush. I'm gonna take this brush. Sorry, please. So, so basically, you braid the hair with every hair that you want to use. Um, that's just okay. We brought so many packs of these because when we get our hair braided, we need a lot of hair. But we didn't end up getting our hair braided, so we just have all this hair to waste. Don't want to commit us to get this. Oh my god. Brush the hair because it do get kind of, you know. So hair like this. I don't know if y'all see, but on Instagram, when they be showing the hairstyles, afterwards, they be in the factory, like, right. Yeah. Okay. You can either do it two ways. You can do it the the braiding way, where you braid the hair in. Or, okay, you, hair can the, or you can do the little rubber band method, which I think that's what I'm going to do. I just want to comb it out. Ooh. How is the hair getting in my mouth? I just want to comb it out a little bit, just because... When I was when I was doing mine, boy, was I struggling hard. It'd be like shedding a lot. Yes, that's my thing. Rubber band. Basically, what you want to do is take your rubber band. Can I get one of those rubber bands? Yeah. I don't know what you're gonna do because me, I just know how. I'm, I know I'm, how braid it. I'm sorry. teacher so like too. So you want to take your rubber band, you want to lay it flat like this, and put put it like this. So hold on. So basically, your hair is in like a little sack thing. Then you want to. Do like this and make a little. Don't mind our brother in the back. He on the game, but you want to make a little loop like this. So you have your hair like this, and then it's like the same. The same way the band was on there is you want to do it the same way on here. You want to keep it even, but if you add more hair, that don't really matter. Then you want to take it and you want to put it on like a ponytail. Go down some. You want to put it. Let me see. You want to put it on. Let me see like a regular ponytail, but you want to make sure that the hair is like your, the weave hair, oh my God, the weave hair and then your hair. Your hair needs to be on top. what she's doing. And you probably want to use a black band, but that don't really matter. Then you want to take a little piece of hair, just a little piece of hair, and you want to just put it right here. Then you're going to save this part for later because you're going to wrap this around when it's done, just so you don't see the color of your band or whatever. So like I said, you want to make a little loop in the rubber band. This is her video. Tie it on. This is my video. <laughs> Come teach you. Oh, yeah. Okay, you want to tie it on like that. Then you want to put your hair like this. So like, hold my hair right here. You want to part this hair in three sections, three equal sections. I don't think I'm going to add hair to mine just because this is for the video. But you want to part your hair first in three sections. Then you want to take some gel and gel the top because the top is on the very point you don't want it to be low no like humpy top so you just want to put gel on the three sections and basically this is where you just start braiding oh you see all that gel that just got on my phone <laughs> I'm, I'm overdoing it okay. i think i'm gonna do it my way yeah that's, that's, that's gonna, gonna be two different it's ways. gonna be two different ways we're gonna show y'all two different ways then you just break you just part that hair You just want to part that hair into this hair. So you make your first three parts. And now you just want to make your parts with your hair plus that hair. Just make sure this part stay. I didn't, I didn't realize it didn't stay. Okay. As you braid in, put gel. You have to put gel as you braid it because if you don't, it's going to be real humpy and uneven and just it's not going to look good. So I'm going to start braiding mine. This how, let me show you how I do mine. Because I know how to feed in the braid. Yeah. So I'm going to show y'all the feed in method. But I'm going to show y'all this. Alright. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hair, right? And I like to work with two packs of these so that you can add um, while going down to make the ponytail thicker. So you're going to get a, a little piece like, like this much. Maybe like this. And then you just want to braid and rip it. So it's because this hair is really like 
know. You don't make sure you braid tight. That's all. That's what it is to it. But just braid tight. Part your hair into three. It all start with just parting your hair into three. Part your hair into three. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't see me parting it. Okay, as y'all can see, my ponytail is coming together. The top is not really how I wanted it. I feel like it could be tighter. Just make sure that you braid it tight. Just yeah, braid, you tight gotta braid tight and add gel. Braid tight, add gel, and you'll be good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start braiding your hair how you would regularly braid it. Okay. Um, do that like one time. So then you're going to take a piece of hair, which is this right here, and you're going to add this hair in. So I'm not going to show y'all. Okay, Get it. Ooh. Get it like this and like add it. Take this and you're going to add it like this. It's hard to show from the back, but you literally just braiding it in like how you would regularly braid you just braiding it in. I like to put both Eco Gel and the edge edge stuff. Braid it tight and you'll be fine. Hopefully I get what I'm doing yeah. over here. Because it's hard. It doing and, ooh, I'm going to get another piece of hair. For this part, you want to, as you wrapping around, add gel. Or add whatever you use. I do be adding gel. But I use... Add the gel. So basically, I'm just gonna just take so it that like it's, it's real slick. You just wanna keep adding as you go along. So I just keep adding hair. Yeah, and I didn't do it that way because I don't know how to add hair. I don't really know how to do all that. Because if I know how to do that, um, forget the braid points, I would have box braids. I would have my own box braids. But I didn't know how to. I don't know how to add the hair. So I was kind of lost. But so y'all see what I'm doing here. I'm taking my eco gel, just kind of rubbing it through my fingers for that. So as you can see, my ponytail is basically done. Like it's basically done, it's basically finished. It looks pretty good. Put a scrunchie on there. I'm gonna put a yellow scrunchie on there, just so y'all can see. Because I did have a scrunchie on in most of my videos and stuff when I had did it the first time. And basically, that's basically it. But I need to do this part of my edges. I need to do that part. So do it like. So I'm gonna pull it to the front. It'd be better in the end if you had like a band or something, like a small little um, black rubber band or something, but y'all see how I'm gonna mess up it is? I'm just combing it out. Okay. And I really feel like, come on, ponytail's gonna be long. Y'all just facing my Instagram photos. I might draw some Instagram photos later. It's like I'll take them for me, but I'm just so oh. obsessed with, where the oil at? Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Where the oil at? Hopefully y'all see what I'm doing here. I am so obsessed with this oil, y'all, because I just feel like, you know, you want like a butterfly look, because I know that's really popular too. If you want like a butterfly look, braid it kind of tight, but also at the end, just kind of pull it out. Just kind of pull it out so it's kind of messy. Like, you, you gotta have patience for this type of stuff. So I hid my oil, and I don't really like it. I did not. Yeah. Okay, look, y'all. Don't mind me, I got sweatpants on, but just keep trying it. Just keep going as far as you can. Go braid down as far as you can. Oh, yeah, that's ghetto. <laughs> you just tie the knot oh, yeah, at the end. <laughs> you just tie a little knot at the end. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sure it's like, make Pull sure it. it go down. Just so that it's like, you know, kind of cute. Oh, yeah, that's ghetto. Hold on, let me put a little gel at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gel. And I'm going to, I have like flyaways at the top from where I, um, I don't know. Don't really just put it in like that. So, so lace braided ponytail is mom my because she be adding hair. I don't know how to add hair. So I do blue or should I do white? White. I think I'm gonna do. Because <laughs> I'm thinking about my outfit. I got me a white shirt. I'm gonna put on. So I'm gonna do blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this at the top and I'm gonna wrap it two times. I don't be wrapping my two times because I like when they like flare out a little bit. And this is the finished product. So let me take my edges out and do my um, sideburns. I'm gonna um, just fix up my edges. For and then we'll be time. back when it's all finished, yes. Okay, so we just finished our hair and this is the final look. We put eyelashes on everything. Just so y'all can see, it was really simple, really cute. Hopefully right. y'all understood like what we were saying. Right, yeah, I know y'all couldn't. It was just an entertainment video. We didn't, <laughs> we <laughs> we didn't know how to was doing. We didn't know what we were doing, but y'all get it. Y'all. Y'all get, get, get it. Y'all get it. But anyways, anyways, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe. Um, we're gonna put videos at the end of what it looked like in our videos. And right, stuff. right. 
and yeah bye with your day